somewhere, a girl made of glass just said her goodbyes and turned to leave. She was followed by a boy who keeps a wheelbarrow of boulders in his back pocket. I wish I could tell her, do not let him walk you home. See, it begins with a tap on the shoulder, lighter than a pebble on a windshield splinter. He reminds her it is not safe to walk alone at night. She thinks, oh, what a soothing voice you have. He thinks the better to lure you to bed. Dear girl, do not fall for this hypnosis. As romantic as rocks tapping at your window, he smiles revealing two rows of bricks. She thinks, oh, what nice teeth you have. He thinks the better to eat you. Dear girl with body of glass synagogue, that boy wants to digest you into a junkyard of recycled glass bodies. The thrill of your scratch crusading down his throat wets his wild wolf whistle. That boy will use his boulders as flint. Set up camp in your garden, do not invite him inside. He will only decorate your love's interior, leaving ash and unswept shards of your self-esteem. He will tell you, you don't have enough furniture, not enough places to sit as if a floor was only made for standing. As if an empty room is not enough for a person, do not bless his soul with your blood when you fracture under his feet. Mazel tov, when that boy hands you a drink, a vial of magic potion to polish you translucent so he can see right through you. So he can see himself inside of you, dear glass girl. No amount of Windex will wipe his handprints clean. She thinks, oh, what big hands you have. But he thinks better to hold yours down, no? Becomes a renegotiation of terms. A rocking teeter-totter of resistance, but his boulders weigh more than your glass smash. Do not waste time sweeping the mess. Instead, dress your cracks in gold. You are not a honey jar in the hands of a hungry beast. You are not an hourglass wasting time on boys who break things to feel powerful. Dear girl, you are stained glass mosaic, prism of unapologetic shine. Your body is an accidental instrument of light, illuminating backbone, glowing electric. Reinforce your reflectors. You do not need to be the example of how easy it is to break. You are not alone. Tonight across this country, there is an army of bulletproof glass girls walking home as if walking into war, armored with keys between their fingers and pepper spray in their palms, tucking themselves in safely and considering tonight another battle won. Hi, I'm Sabrina Benain. This piece is called Glass Girl. It speaks to the experience of walking home alone at night as a woman. 